If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you're a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and like I mentioned in my Corey Cunningham video, which if you have not checked out, I'll leave a link in the description below, but the New England Patriots have made two trades for offensive linemen. Again, I made one on Corey Cunningham, and this one is going to be how the Patriots have traded with the Baltimore Ravens for guard Jermaine Illuminor. Now, before we get into this one, I do just want to let you know that at this current time that this video is being recorded, we do not know what the Patriots are getting. We do not know what the Ravens are getting. So compensation wise, we are still a little up in the air. I would imagine it's a sixth or seventh round pick going to the Ravens. Now, my big question with that is going to be, is it a conditional pick? Will he have to meet certain conditions in order for the Ravens to get this pick? That's going to be my biggest thing with the trade. Now, like I mentioned, he does play guard in the NFL. Now, he also has played some tackle, backup tackle when needed to be, even in the NFL, but we'll get to that a little bit later. He came into the NFL in 2017. He was the Ravens' fifth round draft pick. He's still young, okay? He's just 24. He has a lot of time to develop. He's six foot four, 335 pounds, which is a pretty good type of size for a guard for an interior offensive lineman. He has appeared in three games for the Ravens over the past two seasons. He filled in at left tackle in week nine of the 2018 season, and he made two consecutive starts at right guard. He has also played 94 snaps on offense and 43 on on special teams for the Ravens in 2018, so it's very interesting Interesting that he has that special teams ability also, not just used on the offensive line. Now, of course, this is a very interesting one as, of course, we already know the Patriots went out, they traded for Cunningham, who is a straight tackle, and they have um, this guy who is mainly a guard. And for anybody wondering, has he ever played center? No, okay, he has, I haven't found anything that has said that he has played center. Uh, he hasn't played center in the NFL for sure. And of course, with the Patriots kind of having a very big question mark with David Andrews likely out for the season, it raises a lot of questions. And I'm sure that these two trades are really to help bolster this offensive line after the, the news about David Andrews. The Patriots are going to really maneuver a lot of different pieces, try things in different areas. Uh, so I'll be really curious to see how the offensive line is going to perform and how it's going to look this upcoming season. Of course, that is a little bit scary. We're heading into our last preseason game tomorrow, actually, versus the, um, the Giants. And then the Patriots have roster cutdowns, and then we're already at week one of the regular season where Tom Brady is going to play, and having question marks at the offensive line is not what you want to hear. Now, Ted Karras is most likely going to take spot under center, so what that leaves is the Patriots with Joe Tooney at left guard, then you have Shaq Mason at right guard. Of course, you are going to have Yelda Froholt, who is going to be uh, a roster lock as long as he makes a team. You know, Patriots could always look to ghost him with some type of random injury like they seem to do with their rookies to put him on IR um, and still have him on the team but not waste a roster spot. But I would still imagine that Froholt um, makes the team. So really what I want to see is that does New England really want to keep two guards uh, this upcoming season for um, backup purposes, you know, in case a guy goes down or whatnot? Now, New England is only going to get him for one year, okay? Because from what I'm hearing, he's going to be a restricted free agent at the end of the season. Now, that does not mean an unrestricted free agent where he can just go out and sign with any teams. Teams can basically make offers for him, but the Patriots can match any offer. Because the Patriots are really only to get him for one year if he makes the final roster, um, I don't, again, expect this to be a, a high compensation type of give because it's not like he is the best guard. It's not like he has a lot of purpose to him. He has a lot of time to develop, again, being just 24. But again, with the Patriots only getting him for one year and him being really just average at best, uh, I don't see it being high compensation. Like I mentioned earlier, he did have a start 
at tackle before, and he he did not do good at all. Okay, this is something I had to talk to some Ravens fans about. I had to look at some film. Um, I had to watch some videos on him, and you know what what a lot a lot of other you know Ravens fans were saying as the Ravens fans obviously know a lot more about him than us Patriots fans do, considering he was on their team. And when he played tackle for them, it was just brutal. He was getting beat up. They said he's definitely better at guard now. With that being said, he isn't great at guard a lot of people said that he's really average he's decent and not to get your hopes up too much but in the end it's new england okay you have dante scarnecchio who really is able to turn any offensive lineman into a star it seems like just as long as you can do your part on not getting penalties so again i'll be really curious to see one what the compensation is and two what the patriots decide to do with him you know do they even try to see what he can do at center I definitely wouldn't look into this one as much as I would look into the Corey Cunningham video. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the trade? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button while you're at it. And leave a comment in the comment section below on every single thought that you were thinking throughout the entire video. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody you know so we can go to the Pages Global Family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.